In this movie, I wanted to show you how you can control your window markers and how you can take control of them and put your lintel sizes on them as well. So just to start with, let's have a look down the bottom here. We've got this opportunity here to turn the markers on or off. So let's make sure we've turned those markers on. And you notice that the markers turned up for some of my windows, but not all. So if I select that window and that window, let's have a look at those. Remember our settings. We can either click up here to open our settings dialog box, or we can use the shortcut Control T. Here's our window settings dialog box. So here, under my dimension marker, I've got no marker selected. So the basic marker, one of these basic markers like that, might do what you want. I'm going to choose a different one. I'm going to choose the one called window stamp. Now, I quite like window stamp because it has this opportunity here to put extra information in. For this drawing, I'm going to turn off the wall hold dimension. I'm going to turn off the uh, that part there. I'm going to turn off the fire rating. So I'm left with just the ID. I'm going to turn for drawings that are uh, greater than 1 to 50. I'll turn that off. And now I'd also like to add some custom text. So here I want to show the custom text number one there and custom text number one there as well. Where do we find our custom text? Let's just go and have a look. We're going to come down here and find just here. We need to find our content number three. There it is. And custom text here. So let's say, for example, these have 2 slash 9545 SG8 lintels. So 290, that should be 90. 0, 90 by 45 SG8 lintels, click OK, and there they are. Now they haven't shown up exactly where I wanted them to. So they haven't shown up exactly where I wanted them to. Remember this purple dot here, you can click on that purple dot, make sure you're using this move node at the end, and you can move those outside. And I'm just going to have another look at that window and make sure I've got the settings that I want. So I'll just choose them both again, open the settings dialog box, so let's just have a look. Content number three. Oh, I had it in the wrong place. So let's cut it from there and we'll paste it in the text. Just there. And that should turn up on my text. So it looks like I found my mistake. I had the wrong one ticked. And let's click OK there. So you can see I've got those and they don't line up the way that I'd like them to. So again, I'm going to go back to my settings and we're going to have a look. And it's somewhere else because it's here, marker text style. We could choose that, but it's actually for this particular one, it's down here, text and override. So I'm just gonna set that to center justified for both of those. And I think it's much happier looking. No, it's not a stupid thing. Why is it not working? Uh, so, so choose that one and that one and then click okay. And now they look much happier. Well, at least I think they look better. Remember, you can still grab hold of that particular marker, the purple dot. Make sure you're using that last mode. Touch that one to line it up. Wait for that little blue circle to appear. And then we can line up with that and position it accurately. 